Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they want us to use ratios to figure out these two questions that they ask. They say if she maintains her speed that they gave, the 100 meters in 18 seconds, how long will it take her, take her to run 400 meters? And then how long will it take her to run a mile? So when they mean ratios, they say that we have 100 meters per 18 seconds. That is her velocity. We have a change in the distance over the change in the time, and that gives us meters per second. So we have this. Now let's get rid of this just so I don't get confused. And then that is equal to what is the new distance, 400 meters, and what is the new time. So these two will be equal to each other, and now we can isolate t to figure it out. So let's multiply both sides of the equation by delta t. That gives us by delta t over here. Okay, so we have delta t times 100 meters over 18 seconds, and then that is equal to 400 meters. Now we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 100 meters over 18 seconds. 100 meters over 18 seconds. So let's rewrite this over here. So we have delta T is equal to 400 meters divided by 100 seconds over or meters, excuse me, over 18 seconds. So we have 400 divided by 100 meters divided by 18 seconds, and that gives us 72. And 72 what? The meters will cancel out, and that gives us 72 seconds. So that is how long it will take her to run 400 meters if she maintains the same speed. Now, obviously, you're looking at this and you're like, wow, that was kind of a, a long thing. 400 meters, four times 100, 18 times four, 72. So, you know, that's a simple way to do it, but it is good to understand how to use ratios because it's not necessarily always so simple as that. So now let's take this as an example of it not being quite so simple and figure out how long if she runs the same speed to run a mile. So now using same ratios, we have 100 meters over 18 seconds. That's gonna be equal to one mile, but we want it in meters. So if we have one mile, the useful data chart at the beginning of the book tells us that in one mile, no, let's cancel out. There is 1,609 meters. So now we can use that. So we have distance on the top, 1,609 meters divided by delta T. So now instead of doing all of the math all over again, the delta T and this whole fraction right here will swap places, but it's the exact same steps. I'm just saving some time here. So we have delta T is equal to 1609 meters or one mile divided by 100 meters over 18 seconds. 1609 divided by 100 divided by 18. And that gives us 289.6, so we'll round that to 290, and that is 290 seconds. So let's bring this guy over here. We have 290 seconds. We need to put that into minutes because that's how Mastering Physics wants it, and we know in one minute, which we want it to be in, there are 60 seconds, so now the seconds will cancel and we take 290 divided by 60, and we have 4.83, or we'll just keep that at 4.8 minutes. So that is how long it would take her to run a mile if she went at that same speed, which is bookend pretty quick.